initially the license would be at the low priority when you set the high priority set the priority to high and then see I accept now we have to reboot the controller for the priority to uh, to be installed so we shall reboot the controller here so we will keep it this is basically the licenses as we saw it in the video exit the configuration part and this video we show about the licenses so set the priority to high now after we, after setting the license priority to high and reboot the controller now the controller has come up so let us just log into it and then check the status in the earlier uh, we we do you could see that it said zero access point supported now after having an evaluation license installed and setting the priority to high we clearly get to see 200 access points supported you can just go back to the previous videos and you can see about zero access point supported now after installing the uh, after setting the priority of license uh, and have and Installing it and then going for a reboot, we get to see this. So I would like to show again about that exactly we did that. Yeah, here is the place where we had where earlier the priority was low. We set the priority, and then it is an evaluation license uh, which would come for eight weeks and three days. And after that, the user has to go for a. If you're looking for some permanent AP licenses, then you have to. Uh, procure those AP licenses from Cisco. But the licensing part, and in the next video, I would uh, I would be showing about how the AP joins the controller, which is again similar to any other controller uh, with Cisco, how the AP would join, and about the client association. Thank you.